Hi guys, it's your buddy Jason and welcome to another episode of Misfit Toys Tacoma. And we don't got a hunt going on today. Instead, what I'll do is I think I'll give you a tour of the toy room slash office slash storage room. It's more toy room than anything, but I figured I'd give you guys a, a look at what's going on and what things look like these days. Since the last time I did a tour video, a lot has changed. So uh, we'll go ahead and we'll show you everything what's happening, everything that's in progress, uh, things I'd like to start doing new, different, things, stuff like that. So uh, thanks for coming along with me and checking out my toy room and looking at all my treasures. And uh, we'll go through everything. It won't take long. Just a quick little look around and show everyone what's going on. So guys, come with me and let's get rad. We'll come in here and like I said, this is, you know, it is storage in here and things like that. But it's mostly the toy room. And it took a lot of... Uh, Tetris playing to get all this stuff figured out because this if you can't really tell this is a very small room and closet over here so I had to do a lot of moving things around to get everything fitting right and to move around and be comfortable in here and be able to get into things and things like that so um, so here is the office part of it which not very exciting but and then the storage part of it again not very exciting but we're getting to the exciting part so and if you know me you know that you know I go in phases of my toys uh, there's sometimes I just got to keep them in the package and sometimes I got to take them out like so but there's some stuff I feel like the packaging is neat enough that I don't even want to take out all these guys, these carbonized Star Wars. You know, they got the super shiny. I don't know if you can see, it's kind of hard. But the shiny packaging. Okay, let's keep those in the box. And these special edition white ones, let's keep them in the box. And things like that. And these guys, these horror guys, I just had no spots for them. So I like the packaging enough. Let's keep them in the box. But. We'll go over here, I guess we'll start on, well one big thing that I guess you can tell from the last video is I got it at Detox from Ikea. Last year for my birthday, Lindsay took me to Ikea and got me two Detox to start uh, displaying things because she saw how much I liked watching the videos of other people with the, the super nice shelving. So she got me two Detox and then I think I found two more on OfferUp, like maybe six months later, and then I got two more, three more actually, one's in the living room, but two more for this room on OfferUp as well. So check OfferUp, you can get them for good prices, and you know, they come already assembled most of the time, so, and not bad. So I guess we'll start over here, this will, would be the wrestling section, and so right now, the full one is this one here. So this one is all the masters of the WWE Universe. And I was pretty good on the first couple series of those when they were out because they're only at Walmart. But they just stopped showing up in my in my stores. So I'm kind of behind on the last couple series of the masters of the WWE Universe. The next shelf is all the uh, the retros, the WWE retros, and again, like first three or four series, found no problem in the stores, and then they just stopped showing up. So the last series I don't have more retros, and then one actual Hasbro, the Million Dollar Man, I found him in a swap meet. Then bottom shelf is all the, the WWF sweat action figures, or maximum sweat, maximum. And then over here for the second shelf, you know, it's just, it's kind of bare right now because I, for the longest time, I just didn't have any room for any more wrestling figures. But here's all my elites that I got so far. Start of the AEW figures I got and then just kind of the runoff, what's left for the room. So I do have plenty of room to 
fill up with wrestling figures, so that will start happening soon. And then just kind of a bunch of random wrestling up here. Replica belt. Awesome. So the next shelf, well, up top is uh, all the classified G.I. Joes, or the declassified. Classified? Right. One or the other. That I got so far. That I've just been able to find so far. And then everything else on this shelf is superheroes or super villains. And this shelf here is mostly heroic. And mostly Marvel Legends. Except for random McFarlane Batman. And that's a Marvel Select Hulk. But yeah, everything else are legends here. The next shelf is all villains. We got a, we're in the gamut of a lot of stuff here. Uh, uh, McFarlane Multiverse. We got Marvel Select. Marvel Legends. We got a NECA Xenomorph in there. That's the villainous shelf. And then the next shelf is movie stuff. Um, Thanos and the Black Order over here. The movie Deadpool just chilling. And then I know it's not all Avengers but we got the movie Cable, the movie Wolverine. It's just all, all movie figures. And then the last is it's just kind of my own mishmash creation. I got the the Marvel Zombies over here, and then the DC Blackest Night, which are kind of DC Zombies, and then I have a NECA Ash and a McFarlane Ash fighting all of these zombies. And admit it, you'd watch that movie. Two Ashes fighting DC and Marvel Zombies. Yeah, it's pretty great. So that is the Mostly Superhero Show. Now over here, we're getting into the horror section. So, we'll start up at the top. Got the oversized McFarlane Tortured Souls, and there's a Dorothy from the Twisted Land of Oz. And then first shelf, just a lot of classic horror. Mostly NECA and McFarlane stuff. A few randoms like that uh, Son of Frankenstein. The Martian. But yeah, mostly NECA and the far leg. And then right here, I just kind of figured these guys all went together. Monstrous and barbaric and things like that. It looks like um, McFarlane, NECA, and then World of Warcraft. This barbarian and this orc are World of Warcraft. I don't know what company those are. But, and then the Conan is NECA. Everything else is McFarlane. The next shelf... We got Spawn, Tortured Souls, uh, got the Thing, a nice and ooey gooey and gross shelf. And the next shelf, oh, oh, of course, is the start of the Aliens and Predator shelf, and of course, someone's got to be knocked over. But that's the way it goes when you got toys. We'll fix him later. But it's all NECA stuff, except for the. The, the weird alien human hybrid from Alien uh, Resurrection? Yeah. That one's Kenner, I think. And then the next shelf, it's got a random zombie baby Halloween decoration, some horror Funkos, and up here is uh, the Bashujus, the Ash, Freddy, and Pinhead, and then a Silent Hill nurse. Your sheet went well with them. The next shelf is the Mezco Designer Series, which I need to catch up on. I know there's a Freddy out there, there's a Pennywise, there's a Leatherface coming soon. I'll have to get those. Then the next shelf is all the NECA Toonie Terrors. I did have, because uh, they go with the Scooby Doo figures so well, it really works out. Um, 
I did have the mystery machine in there for a minute, but I started getting so many of the toony tears that just wouldn't fit right. So I took I took that out. But I can still fit all the Scooby-Doo figures in there. And then last but not least for the horror shelf is the the 10 inch McFarlane Walking Dead uh, figures. So that is, those are the horror shelves. The next set of shelves, I guess we'll start up at the top. I got into the retro G.I. Joes lately, and that's the first series, that's all I could find. I'm missing Scarlet and the Baroness. So if you see those, let me know. Or if you got a deal on them, let me know. And I've got the Awe Striker and the His Tank, and then just random stuff, Iron Giant, Transformers. But these two shelves are the Star Wars shelves. So we'll start over here. Uh, of course. But this one is pretty much like uh, the extended movies, the Disney movies. Um, I guess, you know, video games, uh, Legends, and then comic book, Mandalorian. So that's the, almost the miscellaneous shelf, I guess. And then down here, episodes one through three. You can see you don't got many, too many of them, but working on it. And then next shelf is episodes four through six. Of course. Turn your back for one minute, they all just start falling down. But them's the brakes. And over here are is the the sequel trilogy. Seven through nine. And then right here is a lot of uh, Clone Wars, Rebels. And then this row I know is just it doesn't fit, but I haven't started a new section yet, so that's just kind of mishmash there. But a lot of Clone Wars and Rebels, things like that. And then the last shelf is all Imperial. Stormtroopers. Uh, is Clone Troopers? No, those are down here. It's all Stormtroopers and First Order Troopers. So, and then a, dro a droid trooper. So that is the Star Wars section. And then, oh, and then up here, that's Bobbleheads and Star Wars Unleashed. A couple of those. I used to have a ton of those, but that's all that's left from that collection. So that's Star Wars. And, uh... If you only knew the power of the dark side. Talking Darth Vader, Grogu. And then over here in the window, you can kind of see them. It's all my Funko Pops, which, you know, just all kinds of random stuff. Because that's how it goes with me and Funkos. Either, because I don't really like Funkos that much, but if they come out with something like Mad Max, which I love, I'll have to get it. And drag queens and just all that, all the cool stuff. Then over here is where I was able to consolidate all my comic books. I got... Uh, little plug drawer boxes and they're all long boxes and they all connect together it makes this whole hive cool thing too you can just pull out the box and everything's there you need to find something and of course who, the guy who I am, everything is alphabetized and it's got to stay that way. So that is the comic books. And then I'm starting to display all of my Masters of the Universe Origins because the, the packaging just brings me back. So this is the start of that, what I have so far. And right here... I got a light box so I can take pictures of all my figures then put them on the Instagram page which is at Misfit Toys Tacoma again on Instagram at 
Misfit Toys Tacoma. So there you go. You can see those crisp pictures I take with the light box. Uh, yeah. There we go. And then over here is just a corner I haven't found room for stuff yet. Or it's just come in or, you know. So this is the, this is the miscellaneous corner. So that's it guys, that's a tour of the toy room, uh, giving you an update of how everything looks, the way I'm displaying everything, and so I hope you all enjoyed uh, everything and uh, got a kick out of what I have, and if you see anything that could plug any holes in my collection, let me know, I'll take it off your hands. So thanks for guys, thanks, bleh, thanks guys for coming along for the ride, and uh, I'll see you next time, I'm going to do a... Uh, in the store hunt video soon i know it's been a little bit um at least a tacoma hunt anyways it's been a uh, few months so i'm gonna try to get back into the swing of things get a regular video out there so keep your eyes peeled and if you like the video make sure you go like the video and if you haven't subscribed yet go subscribe i would appreciate it keep tabs on what i'm doing and so guys uh just like always thanks for coming along and I will see you next time. And just like always, guys, don't forget, let's get red.